Great Little Place is a new, online, user-generated local and travel guide that aims to offer insider knowledge on any destination. In theory, this means that we should be able to go to Nottingham for the very first time and spend a weekend there avoiding chains like these and heading straight for the places that locals know and love. So that's what we're aiming to do. We'll be visiting as many places from the Great Little Place Nottingham Facebook group as we possibly can, we'll be meeting the people who run them, and we'll even be throwing in some undignified behind the scenes footage so that you can see how much we enjoyed your suggestions. In some cases it was a bit too much. Uh, my name is George Bronievsky and this is the Warsaw Diner in Nottingham. Morning times it's uh, an American breakfast diner and it's the American theme as you can see. Evening times it turns into a Polish restaurant, there seemed to be a market for it because the Polish thing was not known. Obviously since then we've had a, a hell of a lot of people coming from Poland. My, my connections are Polish, I mean I'm, I'm a born here, Pole. The American Diner idea was formed around the students because it was, it's a large student area, this, this particular vicinity. And we needed something a little bit different from a usual burger bar or, or whatever. And we would have the students come in every year, year in, year out, the same people, and then they recommend the next ones down the line. So it must be working. Yeah. How do you feel about being voted one of the great little places in Nottingham by your customers? I thought it was a great honour, actually, because. Uh, it shows that people appreciate good, good old-fashioned, freshly prepared food. And so began the long wait for the continents to shift. And shift they did, from a perfect cup of coffee to what we can only presume was a perfect Polish meal. Quite nice vodka as well. Ignore the face pulling, we're just very soft. Nothing quite takes the edge off a hangover like waking up to a view like this. I'm Katinka Viga, General Manager at Hearts Hotel in Nottingham. It is, although being a city centre hotel, a very private, cheek, boutique individual, well looked after place. They're very com contemporary but still very comfortable, not minimalist. You know, we make the most of the space in the rooms, furnish it with high quality. Goose down feathers, um, Egyptian cotton, all the lovely bathrooms. The garden rooms have big French doors leading out into the garden, your own seating area with each room. All our rooms actually, no matter which room you stay in, what category you choose to go for, they all have floor to ceiling windows so you get lots of light and air into each bedroom. But we were more easily impressed. I like your art. My Your art. What was your art like? My art, um, it was nice, it was colourful. Come have a look at your art. Oh, you've got the best art. On to day two. And if you ever tell us that you found anywhere cuter to have tea than this, we will fight you. My name is Frances, Frances Russell, and I own the White Rabbit Tea House in Nottingham. This is the first time that I've ever worked in catering, but I've known that I've wanted to do it for years and years, so it's been a dream to do it. It's been open for five months now, um, so still early days, um, but I wanted it to be sort of oldie fashioned and a bit kitsch kind of thing. Really, really nice people come here. It's it's um, it's all just started by word of mouth. So nice people tell nice people and things like that. It does attract very interesting people as well. I don't really know how. I think Nottingham is the kind of city where there is a lot of chains here, a lot of Starbucks and things like that. But now more and more little places are opening up. Um, it's sometimes a bit hard to find them, which I suppose is a good thing because it keeps it kind of like a little secret. So 
Wow, what is it? Spoons. Nice. People were surprisingly understanding about letting us go around and film their sandwiches. Although when Ken started just testing them, that didn't go down so well. The road was long, to my dismay. Sunday said it about my face, all the memories seemed to fade. Spent most of my days in the haze. Okay, so far we've been somewhere American and Polish, and then somewhere very English. So what's next? Ah, oh, obvious. I'm Paul, and this is Jib, my wife, and uh, the restaurant's called Lantong Thai Restaurant. We met quite... Um, ten years ago. Ten years ago, on, um, on a floating Thai restaurant. The restaurant kindly entertained us before they opened, and the food was so good that Jen, who was a vegetarian, did actually have a rib. And then the rest of them. It is small, and also it's a family-run business. He always entertain the customer, and the way I'm cooking food, it produces is real Thai food, authentic Thai food, and we know nearly everybody come to the restaurant. You know, local. Yeah, they always come back. If you if you come in first time, you always coming back. Cheeky pint time now, and there is one pub name that does keep coming up. It's the Hand and Heart with its resident legend, Pete the Feet. Ready when you are. That is a great time. I used to do a big breakfast with uh, Danny Minow. Uh, I also used to do keyboard play with Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin in a bank of the honey please. I was born in Nottingham, and so... Uh, I, I played all around the world, so uh, it's nice to come home. I like the place, it's a nice place. It's not often you get end up in playing all these caves in nothing. Great atmosphere. It is, it, the beer's good, uh, the people are good. The music that they put on is excellent, and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased to be here. You know, it's just the only uh, gig that I look forward to every week. And this is an excellent club. And hopefully uh, people like my music as well, so hopefully it's a good day out for everyone. What are you hoping for in your mystery drink, Kate? A mystery drink? <laughs> yeah, lots of mystery, double mystery. <laughs> what are you hoping for, Jen, in your mystery drink? Booze. Wow. You've gone for a mystery now. Is there any gold in there? Vegetation. Another morning in another slightly hurty head, but another lovely hotel to help ease the pain. My name is Pauline Mee. I'm the general manager of the Walters Hotel here in Nottingham. It's quite unique, I think. Um, it was built as a hunting lodge in the 1800s, um, and uh, apparently from here to the castle, it was all green uh, fields and, and lots of deer. But I've been here for about two and a half years, and when I first came here, it wasn't at its best, shall we say. Obviously a listed building, so we, we, we were very restricted what we can do. And the new owner decided that he wanted to make it um, as it should be. We have 18 bedrooms, uh, one restaurant that holds about 76, and then a small uh, restaurant that holds 24. Um, all the bedrooms are all different. We also have uh, two bars, one small bar and one at the main bar. So we can jump to the general public, you know, seven days a week. But we have lots of private functions here as well. And it's very good value as well. Consequently, the, the, the actual restaurant was full last night and even I struggle to get in sometimes, so which is uh, quite good. But um, yeah, I like to entertain my friends here as well. It's our final afternoon and being a Sunday, it seems like a very good idea to go to the cinema. Until it turns out we might not fit. Uh, my name is Stephen Jones and uh, we're at the Screen Room Cinema in Nottingham, which is the world's smallest cinema. We just have a box office where we are now at the cinema, the actual auditorium, which has got 21 seats, and the toilet, and that's it. One of the problems with being such a small place is you can't project from behind people's heads because if anyone stood up to go to the toilet, they'd like block out the picture. So we're forced to project from behind the screen. But the problem with doing that is you lose a huge amount of space because you have to lose a third of the building for your projector room, and then you have to lose a third of your building for the 
throw where the picture gets bigger and then you've only got a third left for actual people sitting and watching the film. We're often playing a film after which finished at all the cinemas but before it comes out on DVD and sometimes I do a search on the internet and we're the only place in the country playing a film just because it's just that brief period. How do you feel about the fact that you've been recommended as a great little place by a lot of people in Nottingham? Uh, deeply honoured. <laughs> We've just got time for one more stop. This place used to be called Wax, which is a shame for this man because Abraxas is a lot more difficult to order a taxi from after a few drinks. This is Abraxas, my name's Ian. I'm the well, manager here. We always get good people in, there's always a great vibe. And when we get our DJs in, they are absolutely brilliant. And how do you feel about the fact that you have been voted a great little place? It's always nice to know that. It's just a bar at the end of the day, but it is a fun bar. People go in there, just feel a bit more relaxed. Apart from one man who insisted he couldn't relax until he was interviewed. What's your favourite colour? Red. Thank you very much. Yeah.